Hey guys, Jake here, coming at you with another math problem today. Here's the problem we're going to be going over today. We're going to find the integral of e to the 2x dx. Let's just go ahead and jump right into it. Um, so really, finding the integral of e to the 2x is going to be easiest using u substitution. And when you see a problem like this, um, and you want to try doing it with u substitution, what you typically want to do is, you know, look for which piece of our, our integral here um, has that that piece is derivative somewhere else in the integral and this is a weird one because you know if we we consider the different options here you know we could make usually you don't want to make your u the entire thing so if we're just looking for little pieces of it if we make our u be 2x let's say that's kind of a weird one because the derivative of 2x is just 2 which there isn't a 2 in here anywhere however whenever you're uh you know using u substitution if you pick some piece that, uh, you know, the derivative of that piece is just a constant, it's going to be fairly easy to deal with that because we'll be able to just kind of pull our constant out of the integral possibly. So let's go ahead and try that and see kind of how it ends up working out. So if we say our u is 2x, then du is just going to be the derivative of 2x, which like I just said is just 2 and then dx. So if we're now going to kind of make our substitutions, what we want to do first is take this equation here and solve it for dx. So we would figure out that dx equals du over 2, right? So now we can substitute du over 2 in for dx, and then we can substitute u in for 2x. So that is going to give us the integral of e to the u, right? By putting our 2x, our u in for 2x is going to give us e to the u, and then putting du over 2 in for dx is going to give us a du over 2 here. So now notice we have this constant, uh, you know, 2 in the denominator is essentially like saying the integral of e to the u times 1 half du. So since we have this constant 1 half, what we can actually do is pull that out of our integral. So bring it out front. So if we do that, we're going to get 1 half times the integral of e to the u du. Right, so now we have an integral that we probably are more familiar with. We know the antiderivative of e to the u with respect to u is just e to the u, right? So now this integral is actually pretty easy to do. We just have one half times e to the u. So now that we've actually done the integral, we've computed the antiderivative of this piece here, we can just substitute our u back in. So we know u is 2x. We can just replace our u down here with a 2x telling us that this integral equals one half e to the 2x. So hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, please give it a like, subscribe to my channel. Those are great ways to help support the channel so I can keep making more videos like this. Thank you and see you next time.